let me let me talk about the um, awakening, um, the, the the way you describe it. Um, so the, the the being awake, like yes, that means you can go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. But it's possible for you to be awake more than being asleep mm-hmm. by rem- by engaging in the practice in the way really is about remembering to come back to the present moment. When you remember to come back to the practice. That's the moment you remember to be awake. So um, again, it is very different from the idea. Oh, I'm awake, and then like now I'm forever awake now, and then uh, but the it's also easy to misunderstand that. Oh, I'm awake, and then I go back to sleep, and then mm-hmm. now now we're like now what am I doing? But really, um, it's a moment to moment practice. So that's why Master Hui Nan talk about one moment, your one one moment enlightenment. You you are awake. You're here. You're no different from Buddha. You might. The next moment is your choice. Do you want to rem, pra, remember to come back to a practice, to be awake in the next moment, or next moment you want to go back to a sleep, to follow your habitual tendencies? So that is really why um, a participant, a, a practitioners who um, have uh, experienced enlightenment, they. For them, the practice is the most important thing in their life, and uh, for them, the most important thing is to maintain this practice moment after moment. Mm-hmm. So, for people who are um, able to remember to come back to the practice more than they are awake more of the time dur- during the day, than not being awake, and that's the main difference. So, like for people, um, the long the when they practice more. Um, that's the main difference. Like for example, um, like my master, a lot, lot of time he's very clearly aware of not just what's happening with themselves, but what's happening everywhere around yourself. Mm-hmm. So it's another thing that um, we want to make sure we understand is not about ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about our practice of silent illumination here, for example, is the cultivation of this total awareness, awareness of what's happening here, Everything around it, and my body and my mind, mm-hmm. and uh, so it's important to emphasize this so that we don't think the practice is to walk around just you know be aware of what's going on here, being oblivious to what's around us. But it's like we are here as part of what is around here. That's only that's the reason why we can become someone who's capable of being more considerate and kind to others, um, being very clearly aware of. The effect of all our actions on others, and being able to um, uh, actually, when we talk about compassion, it's like to really be able to know what the other person needs in this moment is by continuing to cultivate this clear awareness of what's around us and everyone around us. Want more? Click here for the full interview. Click here for more awesome clips, or here for the full episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is Giovanna. We're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening. Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe.